I have a couple little updates here for my pop-in, my friend. I want to be sure that you know everything here on Friday afternoon, evening. I am Pat Sloan. This is a little pop-in. So tomorrow is February 1st. Amazing. We've had all of January, all of January together. And February starts tomorrow, which I need to tell you that that's the first, which means normally hear the word normally, the out west block number two, this is block number one, but block number two would normally come out on the first, but it's Saturday. And we didn't, we were not able to put it out today early, so it will go on, uh, be out on Monday, February 3rd. So I will put a note, they've put a note on their website, I'm putting a note in the Facebook group, and you're here watching the film, watching the video, and so now you know. It'll be Monday, so it means if you have not made this block yet, you still have a couple days to put it in there because I send away a goodie, a little goodie bag to somebody who's made the block and posted their picture at my website. You gotta post it to my website, links are all below the video here. But today, being the end of the month, we have uh, the charity block. So I am so excited, Bloomtopia. And I know some of you are using the kit like the original one that Fat Quarter Shop has done. And some of you uh, have, sh have been interested in doing the Bloomtopia with my fabrics with Bonnie Lane. So let me just show you that. I put the post up, I'll link that down here. So there's two blocks for, the. this comes out also the 1st and the 15th for like four months, whatever it is. <clears throat> uh, so here's one, one of, I think this is block number two. I'm holding that first because it was on top. And there we go. These are all done in my Bonnie Lane with a white background. And so here is the butterfly block. I just, I just I love this block. Love it, love it, love it. I have always wanted to make these little butterfly blocks. I've always thought that they were so cute. Um, I think many years ago I saw a Japanese quilt done with these and it was all done on a dark background. So I show you this on the website too. I decided to make a couple of butterfly blocks. I feel like they're flying around. I could use some butterflies today. Uh, <laughs> real butterflies, real pretty butterflies. Uh, so here they are on a dark, on the dark char charcoal from my, my Bonnie Lane. That's, uh, that's this fabric here. So I'm thinking, and I asked this question on my post today, um, should I, I'm thinking like during the Bloomtopia so long, I might see how many of these I can make. See if I can make a wall hanging or a lap quilt, that's adventurous, right? Maybe at least a wall hanging out of uh, my Bonnie Lane doing a whole bunch of butterflies and just put them side by side. Now this block has the middle piece that has the, the dark, I could do the dark center. And so that's an option too. I could just do, see how many of these blocks I could get and, or, or I might put another butterfly in there. I don't know, the one that I saw had a butterfly in it and I just thought that was so nice. Now also in the charity sew along, which is for Make-A-Wish with Fat Quarter Shop and Motive Fabrics that are both donating fabrics along with all the generous support that you give for the sew along and my quilt being auctioned, there's a new part. If you want to cross stitch, so exciting. It has a little, I started it. So there's a, a cross stitch that um, is done in sections. So there's a few pieces that go on here. So I've already started and I will be stitching along. So that means by the 15th, I will have that section done. And the completed one that was done by Priscilla of the House, Real Housewives of Cross Stitch is also gonna be putting her cross stitch up for auction. And so all of that money will go towards Make-A-Wish which would just be amazing. A couple more things before I let you go on this quick pop in. I uh, am so excited to be the featured designer over at Nancy's Notions. And so I have Pat's picks over at Nancy's Notions, which is so cool. Uh, they asked me to go through their website and look at Notions. Um, and so I picked a bunch of different things, including here, I've got this. I still haven't put it together. My new rolling assistant and it comes in three colors. One, I got the, it's called um, mint, but it's really like aqua. Um, and so I'm gonna put that together. I might get the shipping department to do it. <laughs> 
shh, don't tell him. Um, but they're very easy. They also comes in white and rose gold, which is just gorgeous. And then I, did, and I put things up there like uh, a bunch of the Ulfa tools that I like, the folding mat, um, the, the uh, chenille cutter, which is amazing. I'm working with that right now. And the rotary cutters that I love. Plus, at my website from yesterday, I am, uh, you can enter your name for one of these, one of these goodies. And I did have a tip on the um, sewing these blocks. I forgot to tell you just now, and this on my website, but you wanna, I starched the fabric first and got it, at first I just wet it and then I let it dry. And then after that, I press it. So like, it's hard to see, I can't really, I thought maybe I'd, you'd be able to see that it's stiffer, but this piece here was starched and it's stiffer. It's not quite as floppy as this down here. It is firmer. It's not like paper. It's not quite that firm, but it's got that just a little bit of firmness so that when I'm using these tiny, tinier units like this, you know, size uh, for the corners, they don't, you know, they don't move around quite as much, which is more wonderful for sewing them. And I do want to get a fish shout out today because it's the end of the month and I want to just tell all of you that I love you. I really do. And I thank you for everything. But I also just want to say that I know some of you have had to go in for some surgeries this month. Um, you've had things that were not planned. Maybe other people had things that were not planned and life might not be going quite as smoothly today or this month as you had hoped. And I just want to shout out and tell you how much all of us think about you in the group and our community and that we are pulling for you to you know, get well or get things straightened out that might have derailed you from what you want to really be doing. Um, it happens, life happens. Uh, it also is kind of dreary in January and I know that's hard for a lot of people, including me. I don't do well with gray skies and lots and lots of days of those. Today is extremely gray uh, and it has been for a few days. I could not live in Seattle, <laughs> sorry folks too much gray <laughs> but I just wanted to tell everybody that it does get better uh, put on all the lights in your room that you possibly can Greg always says that my room looks like the center of the Sun and that's on purpose because it gives me lots of light and lots of joy and be sure that you're sewing and doing something if not just touching your fabric every single day feed your soul and be intentional that was, um, that is my was, is not was, it is my word of the year, is intentional, intentionally doing things. And so I'm going to sit down now after I finish this video and I'm going to write a post for tomorrow, for February 1st, about my word of the year and just a few other things. Uh, and I will chat with you there and chat with you online and see you every place. Okay? Be good. Be good to each other. Thank you. Bye-bye.